I'm going to show you how to enhance your audio in Premiere Pro with these three easy effects. So if you've worked with audio before in Premiere, you might be tearing your hair out, making it sound better, whether it's a video, a vlog, a podcast with the video element to it. Well, worry no more. I've got here a podcast intro. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast about the future of wealth management technology. So that's generally a nice voice that doesn't sound too bad. Now, these principles can be applied to voiceovers. They can be applied to narration, to dialogue, to interviews. And obviously, you apply them with more or less intensity to get the desired effect. So what you'll see here, first of all, on audio track one, which if I like, I can go ahead and I can make it small again. But if I want it really big, I just go ahead and drag at the bottom of the track and make it really big like that. Now to work really well with this audio, I'm going to need to go to the workspaces up here and select the audio workspace. And when I've done that, I've got a mixer, audio track mixer, that if you're not clicked into it, make sure you click into it. And this is all open up. Usually this is closed. You just click the triangle in the top left to pop open your effects panel and then you can go to town. And these are the three effects we're going to add. First of all, in the first slot, we're going to add filter and EQ parametric equalizer. In the second slot, we're going to go to amplitude and compression and add de -S -S -S. And then in the third slot and final slot, and this is the best way to do these things to get the best sounding audio, we're going to add dynamics, which will add a little bit of compression. Once we've got those three effects set, we can really go and dial them in. Listen to what happens if, for instance, I take the high end and push it up as I play back. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast about the future. Hear how the voice gets clearer and crispier, so we can use this to really get the sound we want. We can dial it in by changing the shape as well of this to make it a little more curvy. So let's click that, and there we go. Now we've got a nice high curve. Future of wealth management technology. And we've already got a very crispy voice. Now we can also do the same on the low end, adding HP for high pass filter, and we can roll off some of the bass. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck. You see, when I go really high, it really gets thin. We want to dial it back down a bit. A podcast about the future of wealth management technology. And we just want to roll off the low end that we really don't need. Then we can go ahead and notch up. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast. And if we actually make that third notch smaller by increasing the Q width, we can dial through frequencies and dial out stuff that we don't want. That's a basic way to use parametric EQ to really get your voice on point. Now, if you've got some sibilance in there, we can also get rid of that with the de Deck, a podcast about the future of... Now, what you'll see is the gain reduction will start lighting up if it detects an S sound that is distorted and harsh to the ear. Let's listen. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast. And there you can see it's dialed it already. Now we can try moving the center frequency up to see if we catch any more. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast about the future of wealth management technology. And yeah, around the 5,000 hertz mark, maybe 4,900, we're getting most sibilance. And then we just want to increase the threshold so we're only getting the red lights on the s sounds. Let's try that. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast about the future of wealth management technology. Okay, that seems pretty perfect. You're listening to Wealth Tech. So we're getting those red lights come on for the s and the t and the ch and all those sibilant sounds. Just a little de helps to smooth out your voice and make it not sound so harsh, particularly to those listening in headphones. And finally, dynamics will even out the levels of your audio. This can be great if you record two interviews at different levels and they sound all over the place, or the audio just doesn't sound quite right. We can go into dynamics and switch on a compressor here, which will help us with that. Leave the threshold, attack, release, and make up just as is at the moment. The only dial you really want to worry about is the ratio and the more you push that up the more the compressor will work and push down the loud parts like loud bits here here and here will all be compressed so let's start off with a ratio of around two and listen to the difference you're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck, a podcast about the future of wealth management technology. And that's already leveled that voice out. And I can also turn it up a bit because we've lost a couple of dB there. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck. And a little bit more. A podcast about the future of wealth management technology. Okay, and now we have a basic vocal improvement chain inside Adobe Premiere Pro with three easy effects. Let me go through and show you exactly what it would sound like if I switch all of those effects off. So we'll go into this effect, switch it off. We'll switch the de off as well by double clicking on it and switching that off using the power icon and the dynamics effect as well. Power icon, let's listen. 
You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck. So very flat, and then we'll re-enable those effects and listen to the difference we've made in just a few minutes adding effects to the Premiere Pro uh, audio track mixer. You're listening to Wealth Tech on Deck. Clear, crisp, and sounding great at a consistent volume level. This kind of trick will work on pretty much any audio you can throw in. Just dial it into the specific audio tracks you're working with, and good luck with it. By the way, if you're really enjoying Adobe Premiere Pro and you want to know more, go and amplify audio in Adobe Premiere Pro too by watching the video. It's somewhere on the screen right now. And let me know your Premiere Pro audio questions in the comments down below.